So let's go ahead and try this practice example of a female patient and we're going to try to calculate her Gravida Para and GTPAL. So we have a 43 year old female who presents to the clinic after she discovered she was pregnant three months ago. Upon questioning, she reveals that she has had three ectopic pregnancies and one spontaneous abortion. Currently, she has four living children, which are a set of twins, born at 39 weeks, one was born at 36, uh, 36 weeks, and one was born at 40 weeks. So let's go ahead and start with the G, T, P, A, L. So gravita. How many times has she been pregnant? So the number of times she has been pregnant regardless of the outcome. So let's see. So she presents to the clinic and she found out she was pregnant three months ago. So she is currently pregnant. So that's going to be one. And let's see. She reveals that she has had three ectopic pregnancies. So those are plus three. One spontaneous abortion which is another one. Uh, currently she has four living children, but let's see how that makes up. So a set of twins, one born at 36 weeks and one born at 40 weeks. So this is gonna be the total number of pregnancies. Now this example is gonna make us think a little bit more because we have an example of a set of twins. So a set of twins, even though they're two people, it's going to be one pregnancy and it's going to count for one birth because both are coming out at the same time and they're both uh, being pregnant at the same time. It's just a multi-birth uh, multi gestation. So first we have this. So one plus three ectopic pregnancies plus a spontaneous abortion. That's going to give us five plus a set of twins, six and then plus two more individual babies. So this is gonna give us a total gravita of eight. Now, how many term births have already happened? So we know she's pregnant, so this, uh, this pregnancy has not been born. Three ectopic, so this is gonna be uh, counted as an abortion because it's gonna be less than 20 weeks. Uh, one spontaneous abortion. One set of twins born at 39 weeks. So anything greater then 37 weeks, so 37 plus weeks, is term birth. So a set of twins born at 39 weeks, this is going to be one term birth, one born at 36 weeks, we know this is preterm, and one born at 40 weeks. So total term births is going to be two, which is the set of twins and the one born at 40 weeks. And preterm, as we know, we see one is born at 36 weeks, so preterm is going to be one. Now let's see the number of abortions, including ectopic pregnancies, because uh, if a fetus exits the body before 20 weeks, it's considered an abortion. So ectopic pregnancy is gonna uh, is not uh, viable to survive because that just means that the uh, fertilization has occurred not in the uterus but somewhere else, uh, usually in the fallopian tube, and this is not a viable pregnancy. So we know that we have three ectopic pregnancies and one spontaneous abortion. So our total number of abortions is going to be four. And let's see how many living children. Well, it tells us that she has four living children. So that's going to be four. And so for calculating the gravita, we already have that number of pregnancies, which is eight. And para is going to be the number of births after 20 weeks. So that's only going to consider the term births and preterm births. So we just add those up together and we get a para of three. Hope this helps.